Let me now talk about the third brick, which is our domestic safe management measures. And this attracts the most number of questions. <clears throat> As people feel that the rules doesn't seem to be or do not seem to be consistent across settings. So why a big group is allowed here but a small group allowed there? Why music is allowed here but music not allowed there? So on and so forth. And during this pandemic, we understand everyone miss doing something we love, whether it is meeting friends, going to parties, playing sports, or dining out. And we will wonder why it cannot be resumed, especially when we see something else resuming. So why, why is it that the thing I love to do cannot resume? But during the transition, the inconsistencies and then the confusion across settings is a very difficult problem to solve. We know the extreme solutions are easy to understand. Either on one end, a freedom day where all restrictions are removed, or a lockdown where everything is disallowed. Those are very easy to understand, very consistent. But both are not the outcomes nor the solutions we want. So long as we decide we take a middle path between the extremes, we will have to allow some activities but put restrictions on others. And inevitably, this will give rise to comparisons and then perceptions of inconsistencies. But if we are prepared to live with some inconsistencies, then we have a basis to move forward. Some can move forward first, others wait for their turn next. But eventually, everyone will get there. But if we want absolute consistency, it's either Freedom Day or lockdown. And then we may end up not moving forward at all. In conclusion, our approach is unique in the world. Most countries take either of the following two approaches, either eradication or living with COVID. We did both. We implemented an eradication strategy last year and a large part of this year when we were not protected by vaccines. A few months ago, after we had vaccinated the large majority of our population, we move to a living with COVID approach, but do it progressively, step by step, not with a big bang. We see many countries now living life quite normally, with quite a bit of envy. They took a living with COVID approach from the start, went through big waves of transmissions, suffered many deaths. And we need to remember that today when they live normally with COVID, they paid a big price. For countries such as the US, UK, Italy, Spain, France, the death rates there are about 2,000 deaths per million population. 2,000. For places like Germany, Switzerland, Netherlands, it's about 1,000 deaths per million population. Malaysia, which situation is fast stabilizing, is about 800, over 800. Denmark, about 460. Qatar, UAE, over 200. How about Singapore? We are currently at about 50 deaths, 50 deaths per million population. Still rising, but thus far lower, much lower than the rest. So this is a difficult period as we ride through a big transmission wave. But we are making progress and we will need to pull together, pull through together, taking care and balancing the concerns and the needs of families, of young people, students, healthcare workers, and businesses from different industries. And we thank everyone for your understanding and your support so far.